Hello and welcome back to another episode of Project Supercar, the channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi as a donor car. Now, this is actually part three. This was supposed to be just one episode, but I did too much filming, so I've split it up into three parts. So this is following on from part two, which was following on from part one. And in this episode, we're going to have a look at the new generation or Mark II accelerator pedal. So, where did we leave off in the last episode? That's right, we had to cover the redesign of the clutch pedal and now I'm going to show you the redesign of the Mark II accelerator pedal. So I'll have to go back to the uh, clutch pedal design. So let's cover the Mark II accelerator pedal. Now obviously on the new donor car it's electronic so there's going to be a Mark III pedal assembly for the uh, gas pedal. But we'll just touch on the Mark II for this one. So here's a series of um, photographs that I took. Um, now these might not make sense at the moment, but um, I'll show you the pieces and then I'll show you the final assembly. It should all make sense. Um, I decided to make the accelerator pedal itself into two parts so I could change the angle because again, I wanted to make the pedals adjustable just to get the pedals as comfortable as possible. So this is one half of the new accelerator pedal. And that's just another angle. Um, these are actually all made by hand and um, but then I did drawings and these would all be made from um, you know on a water jet. There's another angle, a little bit out of focus, sorry about that. There's a Another angle, right, this is the other part or the lower part of the accelerator pedal. So the right angle flange there is to bolt the actual pedal itself, the aluminium, you know, the, the, the shiny bit, if you like, of the pedal with the little rubber cups on it. And that's just another angle. Another angle again, and another angle again. Right, this is the arm of the acceler accelerator pedal assembled. Now if you look in the centre, um, it is possible to re-drill the holes and then you could open up the angle of the pedal. So this makes the position of where your foot is going to sit that, that could be moved in and out depending on your own preference. There's another angle, you can see the uh, nylock nut there and a, and a small bolt holding the pedal together. And that's a closer look and you'll notice it's a tube in the centre and that's because again this pedal runs on nylon bushes which I actually took from the original Audi accelerator pedal. There's a, another angle and another angle. Now you can see that the, uh, the pedal where you put your foot has been bolted to that arm. Uh, that's a close up. You can see the nylon bushes either side of that tube there. And that's the underside of the pedal assembly. You know, the pedal itself just bolted on there. And there it is all mounted onto its pivot bracket. Again, all these are designed to be cheaply and easily replicated. So all these parts, you can cut them out in water jet or laser jet, you know, that sort of thing, that technology really cheaply, a couple of folds here and there, a bit of welding and bang, you've got your accelerator pedal and it's adjustable. Uh, there's a close up of the, the pivot area. Um, there is 
looking straight on and it just simply bolts to the chassis again not supported by fiberglass and that's it so that's the Mark II accelerator pedal now it works quite well it does feel very good now I experimented with weights some, some accelerator pedals are counterweighted didn't really seem to make much difference on there I experimented on making the spring on the throttle body assembly make the springs stronger um, to make the pedal feel better but it didn't really make much difference um, and I decided not to make the pedal itself sprung loaded although um, I might do that in the future but then again I don't have to if I'm using the electronic accelerator from the 2.7T of course one of the issues I'm going to have to solve is the position of the pedals in relationship to the servo because this is from a normal family saloon estate car these pedals are all the way over here but try and imagine the supercar and because you've got the front wheel much more into the dashboard area in the footwell this is your pedal set here this whole set here has to be moved over more in line with the servo. Now there's plenty of bends in here that um, Audi have done so that these pedals clear the steering column which runs through here. I'm trying to design a pedal setup that avoids bends if I can because one thing I don't actually have a press to put the bends in in the first place and I'm also thinking about the cost of replicating these um, pedals. So if I, if I can do a, a simple design from day one, it should be cheap to replicate and I'll get to my end goal, which will be the affordable, budget, home-built supercar that you could build for under 20 grand. Anyway, so this is a problem I'm going to have to solve. So I thought what I would do is take a look at Lamborghini because they share a lot of Audi parts as well and just see if I can get some tips by having a look at their pedal assembly. Here's the new pedals, the clutch pedal and uh, the brake pedal. The old one is here, actually this aluminum piece here is the same for the e-gear and the manual car but uh, I decided to replace it here just moving over some of the parts but I, I will keep this uh, stock one if I rebuild it back to eager um, e someday that I think I will if I want to make it uh, stock uh, original again or if I make it to um, something else double clutch gearbox maybe I will put this one back again one thing I don't gonna make um, original is the master cylinder the master cylinder is supposed to sit here I don't have the original master cylinder that one is very expensive and uh, yeah it looks a little bit special so right now i have uh, had this one this is like a normal uh, master cylinder had this one uh, laying around here in the garage so that's the pedal assembly anyway Ugh. now i want to show you uh, a clip of a professional using some pedals that are set up correctly and i have a feeling i might have made this uh, video a bit too long so in editing I might have to do some time travelling but I didn't really want to miss out this video clip.
always like to see a professional at work and I always enjoy a bit of rallying. Anyway, I think that'll do for this episode. Hopefully you've got something from it when you're designing and building your own homemade car or even supercar. So it's now middle of December and I don't think I'll be doing another episode until the new year. So Merry Christmas and have a happy new year and I will see you in January for the next episode of Project Supercar. Well, that's if I can sort of drag myself away from a nice toasty warm house and get to work in a freezing cold workshop. Anyway, we'll see. So, I'll see you in the new year. Bye for now.